Hey, this is Jolene from the facepaintingforumshop.com and I'm here to show you this design. I'm going to use two split cakes. I'm going to use one. I'm not sure if the name, the name is not on the back anymore, but as long as it has greens and yellow. And I'm going to sponge this over my eye with an Always Wicked Art sponge. And the colors, um, making sure you get into the corner of the eye. So you'll just use the tip end of that sponge. Then I'm going to go make sure uh, to look at it and uh, I try to get it pretty even. And you want to cut across the eyebrow. In the center I am using Global uh, in Costa Rica. And it has purples, it has a nice teal on the end and a white in the middle. Okay, you want to load it up. This is a protege flat brush, and I am applying that in a flame shape. And then I'm doing two petal shapes right next to my eyebrow, and then I'll do another petal shape over the top of my eyebrow. And then I'm going to enclose the outer edge in petal shapes. The paint was getting a little bit dry there on the end, so I'll add more water to that. And I'll go ahead and do the other side and uh, enclose it with some petal shapes. You saw I almost used my brush the wrong direction, so be careful with that, making sure that you don't flip the brush in the wrong direction when you're doing your painting. Okay, I'm going to come back with a number six with some tag white, and I'm going to start with some simple teardrops right there in the center nice big fat ones and then I'm going to come around uh, to make a smaller teardrop I just apply less pressure and go up on the bottom and apply some teardrops and then I'm going to do some swirls I start on the tip of my brush and then I go around and then I apply pressure to do my swirl okay I'm going to add some more water to the brush and then I'm going to come in underneath and add some dots, making sure you get the paint pretty wet in order to do nice round dots. I'm going to come right down the center of the design and around the edges of that flame shape. After I do this, I'm going to come around and make another swirl in the opposite direction. And I'm going to turn these swirls into a double swirl. I always have trouble with the double swirl when I first started out. So what I just do is I come from the top end of the fat part and then come around and swing around to where they connect to the other swirl. Now you um, will want to come back in after that and do some teardrops on the corner of the eye. And remember to uh, press down. And I like to flick in. Not everybody likes to flick. Some people don't like to flick, but I like to flick in for my teardrops. And I'll come around the edge there and go around my eye to enclose my eye. And then I'm going to come back with a flora brush where I'm going to load it up with the tag white again. I'm getting a lot of paint on there and then I'm, I'm taking the paint off the tip. And then I'll come back with the purple from the Costa Rica cake and double load that. And then I'll take just the very tip and I'll drag and drop to add some petal shapes. And then I'm going to do the same thing down my cheekbone and then add three petals. This is all from one load. So I was really kind of impressed with how much paint that flora brush holds. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and add some dots to the design. This isn't in the original design, but I kind of wanted to add a little bit. You can come back and add starburst. You can add dots, but I'm adding dots to this design here to kind of fill in the empty spaces. Okay, I'm going to go around my entire design with some Susie Sparkles glitter gel. This is the light green. 
you want to dispense it on the back of your hand before you get started to make sure there's not an air bubble in it and then you just outline just like you would outline with paint around the entire design I usually tell uh, my client that when it stops feeling cold that means it's dry and it is definitely easier to do this on someone else than to do it on yourself it's a little harder to use the glitter gel because of the angle on yourself than it is to use it on someone else see on my cheekbones where I'm just outlining the very outside and then I'm going to go ahead and come around the swirls here and then I'm actually going to enclose my design on the outside of the purple with the glitter gel too I feel like the glitter gel looks the best though after it's dried and it's flattened out a bit it is very very sparkly I'm going to outline these dots and teardrops at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to go around the teardrops in the top, just like I would outline them if I was using paint. And then I still need to do the petal shapes at the top there. And then that finishes up the outlining with the glitter gel. Okay, it takes a few minutes to dry, so warn your person about that. I'm applying water over my eyelid because the paint was dry. And then I'm going to come back in with the chunky green glitter and apply it just as a highlight over my eyelid. And this pretty much finishes up my design. So... Thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.